What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to jump, bypass the AC clutch, AC compressor relay. Uh, to do this, you're gonna need a few things. First of all, you need to locate the relay if your vehicle has a relay. So locate the proper relay and then know and understand that relay has a control command and a signal output. Um, so you gotta have to, you gotta know the correct wiring okay um and this is only to do to test ac compressor usually i would tap it let the compressor come on and it would come on this this eliminates pressure and everything okay so once i put that put that on the compressor will compressor will come on your ac line should get cold and all you do is you remove that after like two three seconds and then you will feel the line if the line is cold that means you have pressure everything is there um, your compressor is good it's gonna rule out that your compressor is good and you have a uh, good freon that your AC got cold and you should feel cold air inside but you can't leave it for too long it will blow the system this is only for test purposes so be careful don't put any risk on me so this is just a show and tell anyway guys so first of all we're gonna go and find the fuse box and uh, relay on this Honda Accord this is a 2004 model 2003 to 2007 the is the same 600 is about the same it might be located a little bit differently but anyway let's go and uh, remove this relay and let's jump it and i'm gonna you're gonna see a lot of stuff on my videos so make sure you follow pr proper precautions and don't if you don't know what you're doing don't get into it anyways let's go look at it anyways right here is our relay box so fuse and relay so in here it, it will tell you uh on the hondas it will indicate to you i got videos on all of these so if you guys don't know which one it is uh, it's a snowflake right there so we're gonna go right at it let me just fix my lighting right now so uh the relay is this relay right here so how you're gonna take out this relay is um uh if you need help how to uh take out the relay all you need is a needle nose plier so what we're gonna do we're gonna put the camera up close and personal so the camera can see how to do this and uh all you're gonna do is you're gonna get a needle nose and uh, okay so this is our relay i'm gonna show you guys how to pull this relay so I, let me just fix my lighting a little bit more that's more like it so to pull a relay uh what you're gonna do is you want to grab the relay you need a needle nose or, or a plier such as it you don't want to squeeze the crap out of it because you will break it so you're gonna gently just grab the relay just like that and you're gonna wiggle back and forth back and forth just like that softly and gently and try to pull up a little bit at the same time and that's how the relay comes out and it's very simple to pull out a relay um to put it back in uh some of these relays will have markings like notches like that but if you don't have it relay only will fit one way some relays can fit one way but i haven't seen one so it will not fit this way it will not fit that way it will only fit that one direction okay so that's how you remove a relay and um hopefully this video helps you out how to take out a relay but uh so we're gonna proceed to what we was doing so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out this relay and i want to show you what i meant by like if you squeeze it too hard sometimes you could swap a relay okay that'd be a good idea so if you squeeze it too hard you will damage the relay you don't want that you see what, what happened there so this was just i was trying to get on tip and it just this is the weakest part of the relay anyways so i got my uh voltmeter here on continuity so um just want to show you guys how we're gonna test this little guy so it's on continuity see it beeps so what i want to do is find out which wire i need to jump so it, this thing has a coil inside so the coil has to have a continuity that it has to go from one leg to another leg and then there's an open circuit in between um one two of these so once the relay activates it will connect those two so we're gonna find out so first of all we get there's two legs that look same and two legs look same so what i want to do here is i want to follow these two legs if this has continuity it will beep okay there you go let this truck pass by let me touch my camera so we have a beep these 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 two have beep these two don't have nothing and these two don't have nothing and let's try these two right here and let's try these two right here so we know these are the coil this is what's controlling this relay positive and negative so one of these has to have positive and then it connects that makes a connection and shoots the power to the ac compressor 
So in our case, what we need is um, we need one of these, and we're gonna jump. So if we're gonna go, we're gonna look inside now. So let me get my get camera together now. So what we're gonna do is in here, as you see, this relay only fits one way. Okay, it only fits this way. So make sure you figure out which way this relay fits. So the two legs that we need to jump are these two, right? The thick ones, the fatter ones. So they are these two right here, as you can see. So what I wanna do here is. Um, I'm gonna just jump this. You might see an arc and you might hear a compressor click on You see that the engine keys off But our AC compressor clutch pretty much now we know we don't even need to run it that we know that compressor clutch is coming on It's working. Okay, so what we want to do next is I want to start up the car And I'm gonna jump this for like three seconds and then I'm gonna go feel the line It should be cold if it has pressure inside. So let's go try that. We're gonna start this car Notice I'm not putting no AC, no nothing, not even the blow motor because I'm not even going to check inside. I'm only going to check outside here. So you're going to feel a load come on to the engine once I put this on. Your fans are not going to come on. Your radiator fans are not going to come on. But just by doing that, this line is ice cold. This line is ice cold. So what I'm going to do is, you guys are going to see the clutch here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there and I'm going to jump it. And at the same time, you guys will see the compressor come on. There you go. Compressor came on, and I turned it off, and our AC line is nice and cold. What does that tell me? The compressor works. Compressor comes on. It has pressure. So that's everything that we need to know. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you guys on the next video.